And this is where you do your writing. Yeah, I almost never let anyone in this room. So I'm giving you a special, I guess, a special exemption. And this, this is where I, I've written all my books for about 25 years, 22 years, I guess. And essentially, um, I write by hand. Um, I've always written by hand uh, on these pads. I, I, if it's not this kind of pen and this kind of pad, I just can't do it. And I don't use a computer. I, I, don't, I don't like to write with a computer. I don't like anything mechanical getting in between me and, and the words. Um, I know this just looks crazy. Uh, it's probably best if you don't film the wall in front of me simply because, or not too close up, because it's got the, the phone numbers of everybody like I have ever had to call uh, on the phone in maybe the past 10 years or something. I come in here and uh, I always drink coffee. I drink much too much coffee. I, it took me years to figure out you could buy a little gadget that actually keeps the cup hot. And um, I don't answer the phone. I'll never answer the phone while I'm working. I, um, I don't have an email at home here. Uh, my, I have a couple of wonderful assistants who run a, a small, an office for me in Cambridge. And they do that. There's a fax machine here, but it's upstairs in a little hidden place. So I, I don't look at that for at least the first uh, seven hours after, after I wake up. I always like to start by actually writing. So if there's preparatory research that I need to do for that day's writing, I do it the night before. In other words, after a day of writing, I will pull together all the notes that I need for the next day's writing. Because when I start, I don't know, there's something about that a cup of coffee and a certain mood of silence. It's so peaceful here, you know. And I'll just go straight to work. Um, and uh, I, I tend to have this problem that when I See, when I write, uh, sometimes I, I don't leave enough margin space. I, I go too close to the margin. Like here, here's an example. See where I... So then I... After two hours, three hours, I'll reread what I've been doing, and I say, oh, no, you need to add a whole, there's a be a, the beautiful words that child told you, you forgot. So then I, I have to do all this, like I'll, I'll have like a little line, it'll say, 2A, you know, okay. do 2A. And then sometimes on a single page, there'll be a whole bunch of those. And fortunately, I have a saintly friend and she has, and she, she cares a lot about these issues, these social issues, the moral issues. So she, God bless her, types everything I do. I don't send anything the night I, I, I write it because, because I'll, I, I rewrite everything a zillion times, but, but maybe not a zillion, gazillion maybe. I like the words children use. But um, I, I, I'll, write, <coughs> I'll, I'll write something again and again, and then maybe after three weeks, I'll send her 60 pages of, of this gibberish, and she turns it into typescript that people can read, advise me. And uh, it usually takes me about three to five years to, to, to do a book.
When she's done that 60 pages of typing, where, what happens with that? Oh, well then, I, you know, then I, I'll reduce it to something that, you know, looks like, it, it looks like a dog chewed it up, you know, as I'll, re, I'll change so much. And we'll go through maybe five of those revisions before that section of a book is is set in place. And then later, uh, of course, there's fact checking and the research and all those bottom shelves down there behind me. Is all the data from my last two books. Well, thank you for uh, allowing us into your office and your house. Thanks for coming. Nobody else will get in here for another five years till these two books are finished. <laughs> <laughs>